Alrighty, so today is day eight, Sunday, March 21st, and uh, there's Hannah. Uh, so this morning, we woke up on top of the Rocky Mountain tent site to a little little passing rain shower. Got our tent a little wet, but I mean, we're fine. But now the sun's coming out a little bit and way up to uh, Trey Mountain. I think it's like four miles to Trey Mountain or so. Probably less because we just passed through Indian Grave Gap. But I feel pretty good. I'm glad the rain kind of stopped. Are you glad the rain stopped? Yeah. 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 We're hiking along and our next big kind of push is going to be over Trey Mountain which you can kind of see is right up there, covered in fog. It is pretty chilly and super windy, so yeah, we're having a good time and it helps keep moving and stay warm. We're stopped on the top of Trey Mountain for lunch and I just wanted to share a little bit about what we're eating right now. I am a big peanut butter lover so I currently just have a whole bunch of peanut butter on a tortilla just so it keeps me from getting all sticky. David's a snacker so he's got some Cheez-Its, he's got a granola bar, um, yeah, apparently he's demonstrating all that. Sour yeah. Patch. Ooh, I'm going to be dizzy after watching this. Sorry. <laughs> um, and he tried some cream cheese on a cheese it. How was that, David? It was really good. <laughs> it was really good. It was like a cheese, cheese, cheese it sandwich. It was a little interesting for me. I tried it, but yeah, I, I might eat it again, but it, I like my peanut butter. So this here is the view we got from Trey Mountain. I'm thankful that the... Uh, I'm thankful the clouds have kind of ro risen, frozen a little bit, and we had a nice little lunch spot. Here's Anna at the swag of the Blue Ridge. What does that mean to you? <laughs> Much better than the Fire Lord. <laughs> Fire Ant. <clears throat> All my trail name decisions are hot garbage. So bad. That was a big day though. When mm -hmm. did you guys get here? Um, oh, I'll well, probably like 4.30. Yeah, probably five. 4. Probably five, based on this five five now. Do you hang around the shelter a little longer? Yeah, yeah. I, I got out early this morning, though, at 10 o'clock. That's pretty good. <laughs> early day. <laughs> I don't know, sleeping. Uh, well, we are here at camp, and there's Hannah going out to do something. Uh, we just are bare bags. So there's a couple other people doing there, as far as her up there somewhere. Uh, Yeah, it's, um, here's Hiena. It's been a good day. Uh, we did, I think, right at about 11 miles here, and we're going to town tomorrow. So that will be fun. We can take you along with us. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of glad that there was a couple other people here that, um, that we're able to camp with, not just by ourselves. There's the rest of people. Over there. Yeah. So it's uh, five and a half miles to town. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, all you can eat buffet tomorrow I'm night. Thinking shower sounds good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right.
up to say hello. Okay, here's Canada. Coming to say hello. Oh, I'm not gonna snooze here for a little bit. And then it's five miles of town. So, um, out of camp, 8.59. And so our first climb of the day is straight up Kelly Knob. I think that's the last one we got to do in Georgia, or before Dick's Creek Gap. The last big climb, like a mile of just going up. How do you feel about that? Oh. <laughs> that's just a reaction for cold. But <laughs> <laughs> also about to going out of <laughs> All right, here we go. One foot in front of the other. Like like a little step ladder here. Up we go. Up we go. Oh lordy. Hey, we are at the top of Kelly Knob. We just hiked a mile uphill and it was pretty steep. And that was the start of our day, so we're starting off strong. And Damn yeah, from here. that's right. So now our plan is to head into, um, we're going to get to Dick's Creek Gap and head into Hiawassee for a little bit of shower and laundry today. And we're feeling good and the sun is out. It's 11.45 uh, and we just scooted down the mountain a good five and a half miles, or up and then down. And now we are up just about to get to Dick's Creek Gap. And uh, our plan for the day is get laundry because we smell, and a shower because we smell, and food because we're hungry, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> and so, yeah, we're really excited that uh made it here. It's uh, sent from Neil's Gap. We did three days over 11 miles, and now we did basically half of that, so 5.5 to here. Yeah, buddy. Let's see. Well, uh, we got some laundry done here, and we're gonna go on over to get some food. Um, over here at the Sundance Grill in Hiawassee. Um, we got like 45 minutes left on our laundry and then we'll maybe be done eating by then. Hopefully so, yeah. yeah. And then hotel. Yeah. Yes. Alrighty, so uh, we made it to the Holiday Inn in Hiawassee. And, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Hannah, you like it? Oh, I do. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's a good deal here. And it's really close to a lot of places. Ingalls is within walking distance. Uh, we got a shuttle from Dix Creek Gap. Um, it kind of just came there as soon as we got there, too. And so I asked if we're going to Hiawatha, and we said, yeah. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, a shower really was nice. We had supper at an all-you-can-eat buffet, yeah. American-style food. Yeah, and that was good. And so for just for the two of us to get a hot room in a hostel, it'd probably be about the same amount as this, and the hostel around the bend was about the same price, too. So, uh, I mean, it has a hot shower, there's no one else here, and uh, there's a hot tub and a swimming pool in the, in, in the lobby, mm -hmm. too, so that's pretty cool. And so, yeah, we get to sleep in a bed. And this is like an actual pillow. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Tomorrow, we're going to kind of have an easy morning. And then we're going to um, get back out. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's the plan. Season. Alrighty, so when we get to town, one of the things is, like, we want to take inventory of what we have. So we can make a little shopping list. And so we 
just got back from Ingles. So one thing I want to try is uh, what's called Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I saw someone had a stovetop uh, dressing mix, uh, instant, instant potatoes, some cranberries, and a little packet of a little packet of chicken. And so they mixed it all up in, in a bag and uh, cooked it. And they said it was just like having Thanksgiving leftovers. And so we're gonna try that. And, you might see in a future video how good or how bad that came out. And then, so we also want to just um, see what we have and what we need to get. And so we got a little bit, a uh, little bit of breakfast, a little bit of snacks, and we've been doing pretty good on how how much food we uh, take out. And so then, when we get back, when we get to town, um, we don't have a lot of food left over, and so we weren't carrying just a bunch of extra stuff. And then, but the, also we want to be careful and not get stuck out with too little. But I think what we've been doing has been working well. Yeah, and so I'm just we're just gonna gather all this stuff up and put it in our bags and uh, not complain about how heavy they are. 